again and welcome to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins and normally you see Jennifer Brown Day with me, but today we have Matt Boyd also out of the Pikeville office, so welcome. Glad to be here, Shannon. And, and normally at this point, Jennifer and I will talk about something relevant right now and, and it seems like right now there's nothing more prevalent than the yellow school buses starting back on the road. That's right, it's that time of the year. And a lot of people who have been cooped up and you've realized with the kids home this summer how small your house really is. I guess you guys find that out a lot. Absolutely. Definitely once you're adding to the family, you need to upgrade sometimes. And now that the kids are getting ready to go back to school, that'll give you the opportunity to browse the website rbandw.com and then get out and do some drive-bys. And I guess you guys always encourage people to just get out and drive by these listings. Absolutely. That's the best way to look at properties you're interested in. Everybody has their own interests mm -hmm. and just drive by. You, you, you take a look at a house you like, we can help you out showing it. All right. And we're going to show you five homes today. Some of, most of these are, are your listings. Right. Um, so you'll be able to tell us all about them. Let's start out the first one is in Pike County, but this is technically in the Mullins edition. Yeah, that's, that's right. It's uh, right off 23, uh, right past uh, the old uh, Mullins Elementary, just turned right into Mullins edition, mm -hmm. right at the end of the street there. Uh, this is a very nice house. It's, it's a large house. It has over 2,000 square foot just on the first floor. And this is kind of a multi-level home okay. uh, where it kind of drops down in the family room, drops back up in other rooms, and it also has an additional uh, second floor as well. And we've just talked about families in school, and one of the pictures that you're going to see on your screen is this awesome playset in the backyard. Absolutely. It's got a large backyard. It's fenced in, by the way. Uh, it's got a large front yard, and the, both the yards on the side is, is large as well. Plenty enough room for an in-ground or above-ground pool if you, mm -hmm. if you want to do that. And they've made some additions to this home as well. They are crown molding. Uh, there's hardwood and laminate that they've replaced mm -hmm. downstairs. It's got a uh, separate dining room and a first floor bedroom. And this is a great, great opportunity for, for a larger family to, to live. Right. I mean, looking at the pictures, you can tell the people that have owned this house have gone the extra mile to take care of, putting those extra touches in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. They've taken care of it very well. And then I see, too, right now we say fireplace, and with the heat we've been having, you know, it's like nobody wants to fool with that. But looking ahead to the winter and things like that, fireplaces are so nice to have. Right. It won't be long until you're, you may need that fireplace soon. Right. You know, if, and you've got a first floor bedroom. Um, an additional three bedrooms on the second floor. So yep. talking about families, everything about this house to me screams family from the backyard to the bedrooms to everything about this Absolutely, house. Absolutely, Shannon. Also too, this, this house has about three living rooms slash family rooms on the first floor. You can use as a former living mm -hmm. room or as a TV room if you want. So if you do have a family with several children and there is that argument over what to watch on TV, you've got plenty of room oh, yeah. to, to give everybody their own space to watch what they want to watch. That's right. Okay. Now, like I said, this home is in Pike County, and now this one is your listing, correct? That is correct. Okay. Let's talk about 230000 is the price on this one. If somebody wanted to, to give you a call, let's give a phone number for them. Yeah, you can reach us at our Pikeville office at 606-437-2333. Uh, okay. And that one, 107075 is that MLS number. Just call Matt and tell him that number, and he'll get your showing started. All right, now moving on to the next one. This one is also your listing and in Pike County, just up the road on Ratliff's Creek. That's right. Uh, this is also just off of 23. Mm -hmm. uh, technically not in city limits, but it's so close. It's just a half a mile, if that, from 23 and all of your restaurants and shops that everyone uses all the time. And the thing about this one is, even though it's that close to 23 and that close to, to the city, it has very, it's very peaceful. It's by itself, has privacy, almost mm -hmm. gives you a country kind of feel right there close to 23. And I know for you guys being the, the realtors on these, that's got to be your favorite listings because you can take someone within five minutes of all the amenities of, let's say, downtown Pikeville and the shopping areas, but you go stop, listen, you don't hear any of that. So right. you've got right. the convenience of the country feel but being so close to everything you need. Absolutely, absolutely. This has a very rustic feel to it. It's got a, as you can see on these pictures, it's got a large deck. You can go out there and have you a cup of coffee in mm -hmm. the morning. And it's up there by itself. They, they've taken very well, uh, very good care of it. And they've got hardwood, laminate uh, throughout, uh, 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 some carpets in the bedroom, and, and even some tile as well. 
And, and anybody that knows me, and you'll get to know me, the, this part about me is I'm a very outdoorsy person. Mm -hmm. So this deck just screams to me because that's something that we've talked about so many times before is you've got your square footage of what's on the inside, but right. you get these outdoor living spaces that that's not counted in the square footage, but yet you live out there as much as you do in the house sometimes. Absolutely, and it gives you that feel too when you walk inside, it's got large cathedral wood ceilings. Mm -hmm. Kind of gives you that rustic look. Master bedroom is on the first floor with master bath, so that's mm -hmm. definitely, definitely a key. To, uh, maybe, maybe someone has someone elderly with them, it helps mm -hmm. them to, to have a first floor bedroom. And then you've got two storage buildings. Um, mm -hmm. and, and one thing I, I do like about Ratliff's Creek, if, if you're not familiar with that area, is you've got two ways to enter. You can turn it on and off of US 23, but if you're going to go to downtown Pikeville, you can go up the all the way through Ratliff's Creek right. and come out there on Town Mountain Road. Absolutely. So convenience, I guess, would be the big key on this one. Yeah, convenience and privacy, which those two things sometimes don't go hand in hand, but these, uh, this one definitely meets that. And on the third one, I'm going to say and price, because this one is, is listed at 159.5. So if you're in the market and that's your price range, you're going to have to give Matt a call on this one or shoot him an email because I would bet this one won't last long. Absolutely. I don't expect this one to last long at all. For, for what you're getting here, that price is, is, is excellent. Okay. Let's, um, let's give your email address in case somebody would prefer just to email you. Yeah, my email address is mboyd at rbnw.com. All right. Now, when you call on this one or email him, 107243 is that MLS number. Now, we'll move on to another one of your listings, but this one we're going to go into Floyd County. So we'll get on 23 and go north just a little bit, yep. across the Herald Bridge. Right. Uh, this one's not far. Yeah, this is, uh, you turn there in Herald 23, uh, you head down past Teabury on 979, and this is actually in Ligon, Kentucky. And if you're familiar with Floyd County, uh, you're going to know this one is, is convenient to 23 because you've got the access of, of Mud Creek right there going out. Uh, to US 23, but you're in the country, and that right. seems to be the theme so far of today's show. Absolutely. This is a country, very peaceful uh, house, just like we talked about with the last ones. Mm -hmm. And this one also has uh, an, an additional lot that comes with it. Public water is available uh, mm -hmm. if you want to put a, a house or even a mobile home there. It's already cleared off, ready to go, and there's a flat. It's literally right across the street from this property. Yeah, this one has three storage buildings uh, and a two-car carport, so plenty of storage there. And it also has hardwood floors throughout the entire house. Right, and this, you know, to look at the front of it, you know, it is an older home, but that's attractive for a lot of people because you know on these types of homes someone has taken very good care of it. Right, and the owner has lived there the entire time. He's, he, he built the house. Uh -huh. He's been there the whole time. He's taken care of it very well. The price on this one in Floyd County, eighty nine five. so that's a very attractive price. Plus, remember, you're getting that one-acre lot included in that. So uh, this is one you have co-listed with Jennifer, correct? That is correct. You can call the Pikeville office and reach me or Jennifer. Both of us will be able to help you out to, to show this property. All right, let's give that number. It is 606-437-2333 is our Pikeville office. All right. Matt or Jennifer, either one, will help you with that one. Now, moving on to the next one that we're talking about, and this one I love because it's on 21 acres of property. Absolutely. This this area, this uh, property is down 460. You take the fish trap exit off of 23 and turn right onto Rocky Road. Uh, that's where the property is located. Mm -hmm. and this is, uh, has tw over 21 acres. Uh, some hillside, but it actually includes four to five flats that you can put an additional home or mobile home on. And that is where, just like the last one that we talked about, when you've got that additional acreage or those places that if, if you're the type that you like a project or you want to develop and possibly put some more home seats or house right. seats in, I mean, you can do that with this one. And any time that, that you can buy a house and you can say, it, it's in this area, Rocky Road is close to Fish Trap. Mm -hmm. It's down that area, so boating, fishing, outdoor recreation. I mean, this one's screaming to the outdoor person, the, the person who likes to fish, to hunt, um, and those things. And me, you were talking about that outdoor space. Look at that front porch. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And, and that's when you talked about earlier about being able to start your day. You can start your day and end your day when the weather's nice on these front porches, especially right now this time of year. Go out and have your coffee in the morning, and then after work, you come home and you just unwind right there outside. Absolutely, absolutely. They're in, they're in peace. If you want peace, this is a great, great opportunity for you here. And then when we talked about the four or five flats on the property that go with this home, when you can say there's no restrictions, which I see that on this listing, mm -hmm. that's huge because a lot of times 
you buy a property, then you start looking into it, and it's like, but you can't do this. Right. You can't. You can't put mobile homes, or you can't. Right. Put, it has to be a certain amount of square foot. This has absolutely no restrictions, so you can do with it what you like. Right. And this is another home that has been well taken care of, um, that you can see. So. I just love the space on this one. Um, the house is nice, but I think the property and the opportunities for the future may be yep. what sells this house. Absolutely. The environment around it, especially what sells the house. And then US 460, where this is located, next year the new Millard um, Middle School uh, will open, which is right there too. So yep. you think you're close to schools now. Uh, you're going to be a lot closer to schools once that new school opens. So this one is going to continue to become more and more attractive. Sure. All right, this house, 21 acres, 106846 is this one. Um, let's, let's throw out some information if, they're, if they want to see this one. Who should they call? Uh, you can call myself uh, or Jennifer Brown Day at our Pikeville mm -hmm. office. You can reach me at mboyd at rbnw.com or jbrown at rbnw.com, as well as our phone number, 606-437-2333. All right, and we haven't even told you the price yet on this one. And we've talked about the acreage and the house and everything. One nineteen nine uh, for that house on Rocky Road. So give them a call, get that listing scheduled, and go out and take a look at that one. Now let's the last listing, and we'll end the show um, on another one that's right not far from where we're sitting right now. It's on Peach Orchard in Pikeville. That's right, uh, just right down the street from the studios here at uh, EKB, literally down on mm -hmm. the left. This is in city limits, obviously, and it's, it's, a, it's a nice little house, especially for some uh, undergrad students. I know they may not have found some place to live yet if they're mm -hmm. just looking to purchase a home, uh, as well as anybody uh, working anywhere downtown, including Pikeville Medical Center. Right, and I, you know, Peach Orchard is a really neat area because you literally are over top of the city of Pikeville, but believe it or not, the noise of the city and everything doesn't make it all the way up right, there. You've got not. so many trees and things like that that you're in the city, you're over the city, but yet you've got that country feel. And it, one of the pictures I'm so glad you included was the deck right. on this house. We talked about outdoor living. This is another one where you're going to enjoy those evenings. Absolutely. It's got a large front porch and a huge deck to the left side of the house. Parking for two up front off mm -hmm. of the street. And it also has a full basement uh, where the bedrooms are. We'll go ahead and throw that price out, sixty nine nine. So Absolutely. this one's under seventy thousand. So how many possibilities start coming into my yeah, mind? Very attractive price, and it's not just uh, as you live there for undergrad, because because eventually they're going to graduate, right? Uh huh. And after that, it leads into a great investment property if you want to continue to have income there. Uh, it's it's perfect for that. Right, and that was the next thing is it may be that 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 is your thing that you have different properties that you lease or you rent to people. This, these type don't come open very often that you no, can don't. purchase to be able to turn around and make an income on these. Right. So this is another one to look at right here in the city of Pikeville. Um, and I'm assuming the Pikeville office will handle this one. Absolutely. All right. We talked about the price already, 69.9, the MLS number 106.512. And we, talk, we, we throw that number out a lot um, on every listing, but each house has a very specific number. And right. I guess it would be much easier for somebody to give that number than to call and try to describe a house they saw. May they may not have the road correct or exactly location. This just makes it so much simpler. Absolutely. If you look at the Homes Magazine or you look on our website, you see the MLS number. You give that number to us, we're mm -hmm. going to know exactly what house you're talking about, especially if it's our listing, and all the information will come up. It, it makes it a lot easier for us to be able to find you at your right home. Right. 106512 is the one for this one on Peach Orchard. So we've given you five listings throughout the last 15 minutes. Hopefully we've got some wheels turning today and you guys are going to get some phone calls or some emails. Right. All right, now it's time for me to step out, and I guess you will do the Real Estate Minute. Thanks, Shannon. Summer is winding down, and the kids are already gearing up for school. Fall is right around the corner, and there's never been a better time to find your dream home. Whether you're looking for a home in the downtown area of Pikeville or in the peaceful countryside of Pike or Floyd County, we'll surely be able to find a home that meets your needs from hundreds of listings in the area. As you know from seeing me on the show a few months ago, I am the newest member of our real estate team here at Red, Brown and William. I couldn't be more happy to be a part of this company that continues to exhibit the best customer service and serve the community with the utmost integrity. So if you're looking for that dream home or looking to sell your home, pick up the phone and give us a call. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Red, Brown and William's Real Estate Show. We'd be honored if you would join us again next time.